Hey guys, it's Ray here at allofourhomes.com and today I want to share with you why we bought our folk Victorian farmhouse and not the craftsman next door. So today is a little bit of a story time. I want to share with you how we bought our folk Victorian house and a little bit about why we chose this one and not our neighbor's house, which is the first house that we happen to look at, which is a very cute craftsman home. So from one neighbor to another, let's jump into it. So around six years ago, my husband and I decided that we wanted to invest in a home. And we had never been homeowners before, and so we hired a realtor um, and started working with her, and she was fantastic, by the way, if she happens to be watching this video. I learned about the neighborhood here because I had worked on a historic building in the area. Uh, it's an, a local art center, and I was the architect on the project, and so I kept coming back to the neighborhood again and again. I had also done some volunteer work in the area, and so I had become more familiar with it and been walking around it and just getting a feel for it. Um, on foot and I loved that it was so walkable. So when we started our search with our realtor we quickly honed in on this area and started looking for homes here. And the first house that we happened to look at was actually our neighbor's house and it was adorable. It was this craftsman bungalow and we were so excited to take a look inside. Um, the porch was very nice and friendly and inviting and as you walked into the porch you walked into the house that had several rooms on the first floor. It was very comfortable and inviting and just an adorable house. And then when we went up to the second floor of this cute craftsman, my husband who is over six feet tall was having issues with head clearance um, throughout that space and it just felt really small for him. So both of us, both my husband and I, are, are on the tall side. Now our realtor, you know, showed us this really adorable bungalow and we loved so many things about it, but just the second floor was not going to work for us. And then when we left for the day, our realtor took us outside and as we were talking about this adorable bungalow, she pointed to the house next door, which is actually the house that we live in now, and she said, you know what, you might not want a craftsman bungalow, you might want this type of house, which is a folk Victorian house. And she recommended a folk Victorian house because the ceilings are taller. So the first reason why we went with a Victorian and not a craftsman is because of the taller ceilings. And that's something that our realtor mentioned right away. And it's true, our ceilings on the first floor of this house are around nine feet and on the second floor are eight feet. This house was built with two stories and the craftsman bungalows in this neighborhood tend to only be one story. Now people have renovated those craftsman bungalows to have a second story. They often just use the attic space but that means that those ceiling heights tend to be lower or they will have the sort of roof angle within those rooms on the second floor. Even living in a, our folk Victorian farmhouse, there are still ceiling clearance issues and I will show you this right here of my husband almost hitting his head coming down the stairs. Our house was built between 1905 and 1912 and people were just smaller back then. They weren't as tall as we are these days. So you might run into some head clearance issues within an old house. The second reason why we went with the Victorian versus a craftsman house is because the rooms of this home are all on the second floor. So with a lot of craftsman bungalows, they were just one story. And so the bedrooms are on the first floor with the rest of the living spaces. And when they expanded into the attic, they would add more bedrooms into the attic. So the bedrooms were divided. You would have a few rooms upstairs and a few rooms downstairs. And another reason why we went with a Victorian home versus a craftsman home is that the entryway is off to one side. So with craftsman bungalows, a lot of times the entrance will be right in the center of the home, making it very symmetrical and it looks beautiful, um, but it does divide up the first floor into smaller spaces. And then it also divides up the porch into two different spaces on either side of your entry stair. So we liked our Victorian house because it's asymmetrical, which is typical for Victorian homes, in the sense that the entrance is off to the right side, and then on the left side is the porch. 
which keeps the living spaces larger and less divided, and the stair and entrance is off to one side, not right in the middle. In keeping with the same theme here, Victorian houses are very vertical and craftsman homes are very horizontal. So in a Victorian home, we have taller windows here, taller ceilings, uh, it's two stories, it's just a taller home in general. Having taller windows brings in a lot more natural light. We have north facing windows, so we don't get a lot of light in general through those. So it was important to have really tall windows to bring in as much light as possible. And also the vernacular of a folk Victorian home like this works really well with the farmhouse aesthetic that we've talked about on this channel and shared a lot with you. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let us know what do you prefer, Victorian or Craftsman? If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every Tuesday. Thanks for stopping by our home.